Oh hello guys, my name is Jack and today I'll be doing a review of this new game that came out called Deathloop. It was developed by Arkane Studios who made Dishonored 2 which was super fun eh? Oh I wasn't gonna try this at first but my wallet called me a little bitch for not spending anything so let's get into it eh? Now let's start with the gameplay. As soon as I picked it up, oh I knew that this was an arcane game eh? The movement and combat just felt very like what I was used to with Dishonored. And it fits like a glove on this game eh? The biggest improvement I think is the gunplay. Now that there are a lot more guns in the game, the shooting was given a major upgrade. Oh and popping heads is super fun. The slabs are super cool too and the combos you can do with them are pretty sick eh? Oh, there's gotta be loads of them I haven't figured out yet. And the looping mechanic is super unique. I've never seen anything quite like it, eh? But it works real well. The upgrades for guns and slabs and being tied to the whole fusion mechanic is pretty different. But I don't hate it, eh? I don't think I've encountered any bugs in my playthrough either. Oh, and the difficulty feels just right. Oh, I'll give it a 10 out of 10 for gameplay. It's super unique and I think it brings a lot to the table. Now let's move on to content. So after completing the game, I have 11 and a half hours on record on Steam. But to be fair, I was playing it a bit quick eh? It seems like the average is about 14 hours or so, which is not bad. Actually longer than the average for both the Dishonored games. Or oh, I am kinda disappointed however that there were only 4 maps in the end, but they are 4 pretty dense maps eh? There's definitely a lot to discover and a lot of fun stuff to check out on the side. Oh, I didn't really get into much of that myself, but I'll be sure to check it out later, eh? Now there's only like 10 actual guns in the game, divided into variants and rarities and the like, so I would like to see a larger selection. There are not a whole lot of slabs either, but there are definitely a good amount of upgrades for them, eh? I can't say it's super replayable, because you are still free to explore the levels after the ending. Or endings, eh? Which basically reset anyway because of the game mechanic, eh? The multiplayer invasion mode is pretty cool, but I did experience a lot of latency between myself and the host nearly every time I tried it. So I'll give it maybe like an 8 out of 10 for content. It does have a decent amount of stuff to do, but I probably wouldn't pay full price for the game, eh? Or the graphics are pretty sexy, eh? The graphical style fits perfectly for this game, and even though it looks like a cartoon sometimes, it definitely doesn't run like one, eh? Man, I got an RTX 3080, and this game still hammers away at my FPS. Hopefully, my gameplay didn't have too many frame drops, eh? I heard a lot of people ran into stuttering issues as well, something to do with the DRM, I think. But thankfully, I feel like my experience was pretty smooth in general, but obviously I can't speak on behalf of the public so I'll keep that in mind, eh? Still, I had to turn down a few settings and enable AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution to get a frame rate that I was happy with, so thanks to the decent amount of options available, I was able to adjust it to how I liked. The system requirements are pretty high, eh? So definitely check them out if you want to run this game. Uh, apart from that, the level design is gorgeous. Also, kind of like the opposite of my ex-wife, eh? Anyway, I'll give it like a 9 out of 10 for graphics, it looks really nice, but asks for a lot in return, eh? The immersion of this game is what gives it its charm, not the graphics or the content, but the dialogue, eh? Oh, I just love that banter between Colt and Juliana. The two have such great chemistry, and they just bounce right off each other, eh? The writing is great, the acting is great. My only option is that there wasn't more of it, eh? Not that there's a shortage of it. The music is pretty nice, it's pretty fitting eh, but I didn't hear too much variety, so maybe I could have used more of that. As for the sound effects, the guns sound real nice and have some real power behind them. Although hearing footsteps is a bit weird eh, I can't really pinpoint them very well and sometimes I hear them too far away, which confuses me. So I'll give Immersion an 8 out of 10. The sights and sounds of the world are given life by the dialogue. Alright, so overall let's review, I gave the gameplay a 10, the content an 8, graphics a 9, and the immersion an 8. That brings us to a total of 36, which is a super high score A. Oh, I really licked this game, and I think it's 100% worth picking up on sale. 
you can definitely plan however style you like. If you want to stop thinking and ignore the plot, you can just pick the leads and hit objectives. Or you can go real slow like and detective like eh? If you find a good deal on this sometime, definitely hit it up eh? Okay, thank you for listening to my review. My name is Jack and have a good one. Eh?